lead at the half. Well, Monique Billings is one of the core pieces of this Atlanta roster and wears many hats in her career. Tabitha checks in with Mo to talk about her journey to this point. Well, thanks, Angel. Well, today's guest for Halftime Spotlight is a very special fashionista. She's the most fashionable one, in my opinion, on the squad, and her name is Monique Billings. Monique, thank you so much for taking out the time to be here with us today. Thank you for having me, and thank you for the compliment. That's of a course. huge compliment. Who else would I give it to? Somebody else might be uh, offended by it, but I give it to you. <laughs> but, but anyway, I want to go back to your origin. So you played in the Pac-12 at UCLA. This is your fifth year in the league. How have you seen yourself grow from that college player to this WNBA player now that we see today? Man, I became a woman. You know, I'm still growing into who I am. Um, my game has definitely developed, but just me as a person, as an individual, um, as a human being first, like I said, I'm a woman. So my perspective, I would say, has changed. It's not just basketball, basketball, basketball. Like I'm, um, I have a lot of different focuses and I know that there's life outside of basketball and basketball is obviously the main thing, but I'm just really well versed in the rest of my life as well. Yeah, yeah, so, so on the court, you recently passed 100 career steals. Did I? Yes, you did, versus Chicago last week, you went to 101, but that's not common for a post player to reach that milestone stone that quickly where does your commitment to defense come from wow I didn't even know that so that's <laughs> news to me um I would just say I'm tenacious you know when I'm on the court I'm, I'm hungry I want to just have an impact on the, on the offensive end but defense that's like my bread and butter like I love disrupting and being annoying I know that I'm agile and aggr well, aggressive and athletic so it's, I try to use that to my advantage as much as I can I love that word tenacious I mean a good word to know right now but Lisa Leslie another Hall of Famer in the WNBA I mean she's somebody who you look up to why yeah. is that I would just say her grace, the way that she was graceful on and off the court. I, she was the first person I've ever seen to do that. She was just a pioneer. And so when I watched her when I was younger, I was like, that's who I want to be like. My uh, interview that I did with Lisa Leslie, I totally fangirled over her. You would never think I was a broadcaster. But, Monique, <laughs> one of the things that I loved reading about you is that you live a holistic lifestyle. Um, with this condensed WNBA schedule, that has to be able to help with taking care of your body. What are some things that you do to help take care of yourself? Finding balance, you know, that's my thing. Um, wellness, I'm the self-care queen, so just making sure I take time for myself, getting my nails done, um, spiritually, mentally, like just being mindful of what I'm intaking on all of those fronts. And yeah, just making sure I feel good, asking myself, do I actually feel good today? And if I don't, figuring out what I want to do or what I need to do to get there. Now, you mentioned the words finding balance. Uh, pun intended, you have a book coming out that's on pre-order, and it's called Finding Balance Book. Why was this important for you, this project for you, and what do you hope to accomplish? This book is to my younger self. It's the things that I wish that I knew, that I know now. Um, I wish someone had told me those things, you know, at, at a younger age, but I figured it out, and I'm continuing to figure it out. I don't have it all figured out yet, but I'm continuing to just grind, figure out who I am outside of what I do. You know, that's a big thing, like I mentioned. So that's where finding balance comes in big for me. You're also a broadcaster for the Atlanta Hawks on Bally's, which we also Shout broadcast. Shout out to Bally's. <laughs> Shout out to Bally's. But as an analyst for the Atlanta Hawks, how does that help you with your game on the court for the Atlanta Dream? It's crazy. I didn't realize how much it would, but, like, watching the men's game, breaking it down, I'm, like, taking notes and, like, okay, I'm going to use that move, like, watching John Collins and his bunnies or, um, I don't know, Gallo, his footwork, just watching the different players and how they play. And it just kind of gives me a different perspective that I've never really had before. So I love it. And I want to end with you on this one. You're also a model, which I love about you as well. I was too. Okay. Um, but for those people that want to tell you to stay in your lane and stick to one thing, what's your message to them? My message is just to not water yourself down. You know, it's okay to be more than one thing. And what you do doesn't define who you are. You know, there's so much more value in who you are rather than what you do. That is so well said, Monique. Well, I wish we had more time. But fans, that's all we have for Monique Billings today. Thank you, Monique, for joining us. And fans, stick around. We've got more halftime action coming up after.